Your career is over. Uh, Miss Simmer, if you just let go of me, please, let go. me explain. Please. please. I feel like this new movie of yours is so much fun and it's something that we need right now. It's called Feel the Beats. How much fun was it to shoot? And is that you doing all that dancing? <laughs> <laughs> it was, I truly had the time of my life shooting this movie and it really, a really special and emotional experience for me, I think, because I started dancing when I was three years old. That April story is is something that's so close to my heart. Everything that she felt, I felt in moments in my life. So it was um, just something kind of very raw and vulnerable. So it was so cool to get back into the physicality and, and the, I guess, the emotional aspect of being a professional dancer and how demanding that is emotionally and physically. It was a challenge in, in many ways, but it was um, an exciting one. You said that you really related to April's story and at the beginning of this movie, she blows this major audition. In your real life, have you ever gone out for a part and just, A, you blew the audition or you didn't get something that you really wanted? I think that's the story of every actor, <laughs> every performer, right? And that's the beauty yeah. of the story because anyone who's ever had a dream of making it in, in Hollywood or in, or in Broadway, um, you get met with mainly knows, mainly heartbreak and disappointment or that audition that you just breaks your heart because you know that you blew it. Um, so yeah, obviously, I mean, luckily, I haven't had as big as a, of a of a, a breakdown as a <laughs> audition that was pretty major, pretty bad. But I've definitely had those moments and, and they're difficult, but you have to yeah. learn to take them with stride. But to make the world a better place, we, we have, have to, to do, do it face to face. Not to bring the mood down, but I do want to ask you July 6th, marks the first anniversary of Cameron Boyce's death. Anything you wanna say just to continue his legacy, to honor that legacy as we approach that date? I was in Toronto the day that we lost Cam, uh, prepping to shoot this movie. And I'll never forget that day. And I remember um, all of us were just overwhelmed and thinking that he was just the happiest, most beautiful soul and that no matter what, his soul will live on forever in his legacy because he's loved by so many and had the most selfless heart and his legacy is living on in the Cameron Boyce Foundation wielding peace that his family is so courageously and so beautifully pouring their hearts into. So I urge anyone who's watching and anyone who loved Cam like we all did to continue their legacy, not only by supporting the foundation, but by being like Cam, and that's just being someone who loves first and foremost and, and doesn't judge and just is like kindness walking. Yeah. Is there a memory that you want to share right now of him? Something that is always in the forefront of your mind and you feel like the world should know or or can know about? Oh my gosh, there's too many to to put into words. There's just, it was more so a feeling that Cam gave when he was around you. And I think his sister put it so beautifully that he was sunshine wearing shoes. And that's exactly who he is. Oh, I just got chills. I know it would be hard without him, but I did talk to Dove earlier this year and she did not rule out the possibility of more descendants, even though it would be hard without Cameron. Yeah, I do think there's a world where, where that happens. Um, I don't know anything for sure. Okay. Like I can't, I, but I definitely don't think that that's like an impossibility. Where do you stand on that front? It's tough. You know, it's tough to imagine the world of descendants without Cam for me. Um, anything is possible because it's such a beloved franchise, but it just, it wouldn't be the same. I also do want to talk to you about the Black Lives Matter movement because you've been so vocal. Uh, on social media. Why has that been important for you to use your platform for that? And is there a message that you want to send to your fans right now? You know, how can we not use our voices right now? Our voice is who we are and our, our vote is our voice. So to anyone watching, our hope depends on our vote and all of us coming to bed together and using our voices and fighting for justice, fight for what's right, fight for our brothers and sisters, and most importantly, take your voice to the polls um, yeah. because that's our duty right now. Yeah.